Potential Trigger Warning The following audiobook is brief, but contains highly concentrated information of a piercing nature. It holds no hands and pulls zero punches with its deep dive into the nature and mechanics of cruelty, along with the various forms of trauma it elicits and perpetuates. Please remember that the information here exists solely for your awareness, healing, and prosperity. By becoming aware of the nature of perceived problems, we may begin the healing process. By initiating the healing process, we may begin to welcome the prosperity that is our divine birthright into our lives. This abundance of life is my personal wish for you, should you desire the very same. If the truth ever hurts, it is only an indication that lies have been allowed to thrive over time. Where it hurts, whether mentally, physically, or emotionally, may it now be healed. Sincerely, your friend from afar, Alio. 50 Ways to Escape Cruel People Have you ever noticed how seldom you hear about human cruelty? You hear a lot about love and goodness, but cruelty is rarely mentioned and never detailed. There is a bad reason for it. A sinister force exists that fights fiercely against the exposure of cruelty, and that dark force is cruelty itself. Wanting to continue to hurt and destroy human beings, it tries to cover up the terrible facts about its power over careless human beings. The malicious cover-up is now exposed. You are about to discover the shocking facts about human cruelty. But they are liberating facts. They will protect you perfectly. 99% of the cruelties committed against you go unnoticed by you. They are too much like glancing bats in the night. They happen so often and so fast that the mind can't keep up to register them. These thousands of pains include the hostile stare of a passing driver, a contemptuous remark from a relative, dangerous advice from foolish authorities, deceptive advertising, and any scared person who carelessly sets an example which taught you to also be scared is a person with a cruel nature. Some meanness is active and some is passive. The active kind is obvious, as with hateful insults and physical violence. Passive cruelty occurs when a weakling remains an unprotesting witness to the vicious acts of others. For every obvious act of malice, there are a thousand unseen cruelties. But whatever its type, cruelty is an invisible empire in itself, invisible to millions of unaware human beings who are constantly punished by their own ignorance. People fail to escape the punishment of cruelty simply because they fear to face the fact of its overwhelming existence. One truth is absolutely certain. Cruelty does not go away by ignoring it, by pretending that it is not here. Pretense is no defense, but the very opposite, for concealed viciousness can only grow more menacing. So be a truly wise person. There is a part of you that knows it is right to see how inwardly wild people really are. Let this right part develop as it desires. Since most cruelties are extremely subtle, you must remain alert to catch them before they catch you. One day you will be as skilled in identifying harms as you now identify different kinds of animals. When meeting someone you will say to yourself, he is opening the door for what he wants from me by pretending interest in my activities. Or you will silently comment, she made that insolent remark to get revenge. On a third occasion, you may think, incredibly, he is insisting that I live my life according to his pleasure. So you need not feel depressed over your present unwanted conditions. The lamp of truth is ready to guide anyone who requests its bright light. A clear definition of cruelty will help. Cruelty is any inner or outer act that hurts another person in any way. Cruelty also equally hurts the cruel person, for anyone who expresses cruelty must first be possessed by cruelty. A vicious man's first victim is himself. In this publication, we will refer to a cruel man or woman as a cruelian. A cruelian comes from a dark place inside himself. 
he despises anything that is different from his own nature. And what is most different from his own nature is truth and decency. Remember, other people are glad to get you into trouble, but you have to get out of it on your own. Can you see how often this has happened to you in past experiences? Let this remembrance shock you awake. Let it destroy all fantasies about the niceness of people. A chief cause of shock and sorrow in this world is simply the inability of one human being to see through the evil disguises of another human being. To make it worse, those who do not see do not know that they do not see. Stop and think for a moment. How would your life be different if you could read the minds of everyone you meet? How valuable would it be if you could see past their surface personality and know what they are really thinking? Well, you can. This superior wisdom is guaranteed by solid scientific laws that explain human behavior. Here is one area where your clear mind can avoid annoying involvements with relatives and friends. Notice how quickly people change their minds. Friendly and helpful one minute, they are cold and evasive the next. Make use of this fact of frequent fickleness. Then you won't make arrangements with people that would have turned out costly and tiring. Ever feel that those who are supposed to protect you are your worst enemies? Don't be dismayed. Dare to see through human weakness posing as strength. Don't hesitate to realize that your present sources of help are no help at all. By bravely seeing weakness in both others and yourself, you will finally win great inner strength. So don't be like a man leaning against a telephone pole that is about to fall. You can learn to stand all alone. Just let truth be your teacher. A cruel act is an explosion of suppressed energy. This suppressed pressure is built up by a pretense of being right when one is actually wrong. So an inwardly wrong person is always under the pressure of his neurosis, which will regularly erupt to cause pain and damage. But when becoming a true person, inwardly he loses his pressure, his pretense, his cruelty, and his concealed misery. Realize that wrongness associates only with wrongness. Rightness associates only with rightness. Wrongness and rightness have no interest in each other's company. Light and darkness do not mix. There is a surprisingly healthy lesson in this. If you get hurt by wrong people, it means that you also have unnoticed wrongness in yourself. Your weakness was attracted to another person's weakness. Take this as true, for it is. Here is the perfect place to begin to abolish self-harm, which will set you free from a harmful society. Be internally right, and you will have the strength and the safety of that rightness. These truths will guide you in all your male-female relations. Everything becomes smooth and pleasant. You will be able to instantly and accurately perceive the actual nature of someone of the opposite sex. When meeting a strongly negative man or woman, you will hear a warning signal that prevents a disastrous involvement. Having a romance with a Krulian is like cuddling up to a loaded rifle. No wrong man can ever hurt a truly right woman. No wrong woman can ever deceive a truly right man. One of the most common and painful fears is the fear of another person's anger. Someone is scared that another person will angrily punish or reject him or leave in hostility. These facts will lead you to a higher position where you will rebel rightly against your own fears. You will silently say to a Krulian, Yes, I am afraid of you, but do you know what? From now on, I am going to let you be as mad at me as you want, but I will no longer tremble under the tyranny of your rage. I will be free of you. I don't know as yet how I will accomplish this, but I do know that I am utterly tired of being afraid of you. I am going to learn how to walk out of the jungle of my own emotional terrors toward you. This is a superb declaration of inner independence. Imagine a businessman who has to travel to a stormy country for a lengthy visit. Upon arriving, 
he finds himself surrounded by blasting winds and flooding rains. Though baffled at first, he soon sees what he must do. He must study and understand the cruel weather, which he does. With great satisfaction, he discovers that the storms have no personal effect on him, for he has learned how to keep himself safe. You can achieve the same kind of success when surrounded by stormy human weather. You can command it completely by understanding it thoroughly. You don't have to be brilliant or educated to make all this come true for you. You just have to be a lover of learning. Start with an eagerness to learn all about the following 50 escapes. Number 1. Special Guard Imagine a large museum with dozens of halls and thousands of valuable exhibits. After several acts of vandalism, a special guard is placed in the museum at night. The guard catches the vandals and the damage stops. A vandal is any immature person who loves the thrill of hurting others. And there are a lot more of these subnormal people than you imagine. Your special guard is your own strong wish to no longer be vandalized. Make this wish even stronger. Number two, here is safety. A Krulian is always playing interior games with others. His idea of self-greatness is to keep you waiting, to deny a reasonable request, to lay on you as much hardship and irritation as he can. To drive you to desperation is his sick idea of having fun. You don't need rescue from him. You need only to collect the rescuing facts about him. A Krulian is powerless, and he knows it. You know it, and you are forever safe. 3. Your only gift Beware of anyone who expects you to live up to his expectations. Don't let him slyly force you into feeling selfish. Notice that his aim is to satisfy his desire. Dare to disappoint demanders. You need not give anyone anything you don't want to give or cannot give. The only thing you have to give another person is a spiritually alive nature, which is also the only gift you need for yourself. This superior state quietly declines to let others exploit you. 4. True Life One human problem is the inability to tell the difference between the valuable and the worthless. You can end this problem. A Krulian is driven by overwhelming egotism, which means he has nothing of true value to give you. And this leads to another rescuing fact. You have no real need for a harmful or unpleasant person. As if you need junk. It is wisdom like this that gives you a real reason for living. 5. Strong Confidence these lessons are lights that guide you safely through the world of people. Progress will be definite. You will find yourself responding more and more from your own mind and less and less from your acquired habitual attitudes. You will think in a new way toward unpleasant people, which will express itself outwardly. For example, your confident overall appearance might say to a Krulian, I find no pleasure in arguing, so you will have to argue with yourself. 6. The Lion's Den Impress your mind with the slick trick of irresponsible people. They refuse good advice, then find themselves inside a lion's den of trouble. Frantic, they try to lure you in with them, hoping that your mauling will help them escape. When foolish with money, they plead for a loan. When things go wrong, they blame you. Tell them, I will not Enter your lion's den. No law requires it. Only you can free yourself. 7. Right Actions People ask, How can I do the right thing for myself when having a problem with someone? It helps to think of doing the right thing simply as not doing the wrong thing. Notice how clearly you can feel your own wrongness as it occurs, perhaps when snapping at someone or when thinking sour thoughts. Realize that your wrongness is your enemy. This slows down and finally stops self-damaging wrongness. What is left? What is right and good for you? 8. Control of Life 
everyone offers to think for you for a price. And those least able to help themselves will be the ones most eager to help you. By refusing to let a charlatan think for you, you learn to think for yourself. By thinking for yourself, you learn to act for yourself. By acting for yourself, you learn to avoid unnatural human conditions. By avoiding unnatural conditions, you learn what it really means to command all of life. 9. Human Masks What is the most shocking question you can ever ask a human being? It is, what are you really like behind your cunning masks? No one wants to hear this, for it comes too close to what he is hiding. Knowing that he is really a phony, the question makes a man either attack or run away. This fakery is the cause of all human cruelty. So to escape the deceit, quietly learn to see behind human masks. With this new wisdom, you will handle life's events as easily as you handle a spoon. 10. Mad Musician this kind of Krulian has a desperate compulsion to win the argument, to score a brilliant ego victory, to reveal his stupendous heroism to a waiting world. He must leave his foes flattened and himself inflated. Like a mad drummer in an orchestra, he anxiously believes he must finish the music ahead of the other musicians. Realize that such a man or woman is dangerous, then behave as you wisely do toward any danger. 11. Higher Way Use this method for building your inner strength. When seeing someone whose behavior is hostile or childish, say to yourself, Just think, he could have handled that event in a decent and intelligent way, but he chose foolishness. This keeps you reminded that a higher way to handle life exists, therefore you need not settle for a lower way in others or yourself. A brighter world exists which cannot be seen by the usual mind. Ask truth to reveal its wonders to you, and it will gladly do so. 12. Liberating Lesson This may be the most astonishing revelation about human nature you have ever heard. A cruel man does not believe in himself. He desperately wants to, but can't. He tries to convince himself that his wrongness is rightness but that is impossible. He tells himself that his wicked ways will win for him, but he knows he is lying. Here is the great conclusion. Since he does not believe in himself, why should you? Make the most of this. 13. Helpful Facts Some foolish people try to please Krulians. Such senseless people think they will be loved for being idiots. When pleasing a vicious person, A. You agree with and increase your own spiritual weakness. B. You incredibly declare that cruelty is worth worshipping. C. You supply the Krulian with the encouragement to continue his destructive ways. Instead, please truth. Truth is a champion who will take your side every time, every place. And it will win for you every time. 14. It works. A woman feared to let go of a man who made her life miserable. She believed he was necessary to her, though she could not explain how. She was informed, you think you will lose him, when in fact you will lose only your fantasies about him. This includes the delusion that you need him. You really fear the loss of your own wrong thoughts about him. See this. She saw it. The problem vanished. It works for anyone. 15. All is well. Here is a marvelous way to view troublesome conditions. You don't have to fight anyone. You need not search nervously around for security. Anyone under these compulsions simply has not yet found the path to the true self. All you need to do is to start wherever you now are to make yourself a spiritually wise person. Truth is ready to help you right now. When all is well with you, how can there be anything wrong with your world? Think about this for a long time. 16. New Nature Remember the phrase, 
attack upon unhappy memories. This occurs when someone tries to hurt you by bringing up past mistakes, defeats, shames. Acrulian's motive in this attack is to weaken and confuse you, opening the way to score points for himself. But right now, even as you listen to this paragraph, you are not that person of 10 years or 10 seconds ago. Your true self is new every moment. See this. It heals hurts. 17. Labels and Fables Take a can of sauerkraut. Label it as peaches. It is still sauerkraut. Society lives from self-flattering labels, not from realities. People actually believe they are loving when that is merely the outward label covering a vicious mind. Organizations claim to operate for the benefit of humanity, hiding their true aim of personal power and wealth. Stop believing in labels. Discover the actual inner condition of individuals. You cannot afford to do otherwise. 18. Cruelties and Lies Acrulian has a thousand excuses for his brutalities. He has a right to attack. He is only defending himself. Others provoke him. When he justifies, he lies. Worse, his Cruelian cronies support his hypocrisy. Worse yet, his very victims often see him as a liberator. No doubt the victims of Jack the Ripper described him as charming, though a bit rough. This is self-deceiving self-cruelty, which must be studied until ended. 19. Secret World Everyone is involved with unpleasant people in the family, at work, socially. You cannot change them, but you can unchain yourself from them. Here is how to develop a secret world of safety. Never let them know how much you know about them, how childish they really are. Keep your wisdom to yourself, including the fact that they prefer to remain ignorant rather than to develop decency. Your secret world will be a happy world. 20. The Pouncer Maybe only one person in a million detects and escapes the subtle psychological crime. It consists of someone just looking for an excuse to scream and attack and injure another person. In his cold eyes, you can see the wild animal just waiting for the right moment to pounce. He likes to keep you nervous, forcing you to watch every word you say. You now know how he operates. Once he knows that you know, his bluff fades fast. 21. The Way Out People are puzzled by their failures to end their problems. Here is the answer. You can't think away the pain of persecution, and you can't think a cruelly and out of your life. Notice that all of your previous thoughts have failed to help, but you can understand all problems out of existence. Understanding is as different from thinking as a clear blue sky is different from stormy clouds. This higher level is won by wanting to get more than you want anything else in life. Do you? 22. The Helpless Man Use this magic method to end pain caused by a troublemaker. First, see that he has enormous pressure inside him, for neurosis always includes pressure. Next, realize that he explodes with cruelty because he does not know what else to do with all that misused energy. See him as helpless, which he is. This switches your mind from self-concern to self-insight, and where there is perception, there is no pain. 23. Avoid the Blanket Suppose you are walking down the street, when one by one you meet ten friends. Five of them suddenly throw a blanket over your head, putting you in fear. It happens. The blankets are their anxious faces, their resentful words, their empty lives. Putting another person under fear is an invisible crime. But you are a victim only when you do not see and understand what is happening. Just close your mind to their attempts to make their defeats your worries. 24. Healing Question Only a special kind of dissatisfaction can lead you to true happiness. You must be dissatisfied with society's glittering but empty rewards. 
There is a part of you that is displeased, but you must be aware of it. Wherever you are, perhaps with friends or at a party, ask yourself, do I really want to be here? One day you will hear yourself reply, no. This means you are seeing through the world's foolishness. Now you are climbing. 25. Faithful Force The only reason a man does the wrong thing is because he does not know the right thing. By following a simple rule, you will always act rightly toward a disagreeable person. Just remind yourself, the higher conquers the lower. That short sentence has more power in it than a thousand space rockets. You need not struggle to find the winning way. You need only not act your usual way, which allows the faithful higher force to act for you. 26. Escape Revenge Expecting compassion from a Krulian is like expecting sunshine in a cave. This is quite evident when he looks for revenge, which he always does. Having no decency, he strikes everywhere, thriving on fast ego thrills. If you have no revenge in your heart toward others, revenge from others has no effect on you. A Krulian may hurl rocks at you, but you stand out of range on top of a high hill. 27. Defeated Bully Like to know what worries a bully when he behaves brutally? He fears that you will not give him attention. Above all else, he craves for you to notice him with your tears or screams or arguments. So when these fail to appear, he falls into confusion and defeat. His idea of total terror is to be casually ignored. Test this. Quietly ignore a cruel man then carefully watch him. You will see a former hero who is now a mindless crybaby. 28. Oppose Tyranny There was once a dictator who led his countrymen into a war that ruined the nation. The citizens had agreed to the war because they feared to oppose the tyrant. Connect this with your own circle of life. Are you fearfully permitting an individual or a group to lead you into strife and unhappiness? Live out this declaration of independence. I am never required to cooperate with evil to my own destruction. 29. Higher Vision These ideas give you a special and superior insight into people. You will see them in an entirely new way. Examples A. You will see a hard-hearted person as a miserable individual. B. You will see a cruel man as a lost man. C. You will see a touchy woman as a faker who pretends she is happy. D. You will see anyone who believes in human laws for human solutions as a deluded blunderer. This higher vision keeps dangerous people at a distance from you. 30. Practical Method A vicious person takes his pains as his pleasures. This is one of the greatest horrors of human life. It explains why a cruelly and prefers self-destructive attacks on others over a peaceful existence. Let this information help you. Never do anything that causes distress in a hostile person. By doing this, you deny him his painful thrill, and since he is no longer rewarded, he will leave you alone. Just what you want. 31. The Hawk Quite often a brutal man will try to make you think he has changed his ways when he has merely switched his bag of tricks. This is just one more evil piled on top of the others. His apology is simply a lullaby to put you to sleep until he is ready to strike again. If you know such a person, he can teach you a life-saving lesson. A vicious hawk who has learned to sing like a nightingale is still a vicious hawk. Look within. See that part of you that wants escape from a hawk? Follow it. 32. Revealing Question Would you like an easy method for instant recognition of cunning cruelty? When suspicious of someone, ask yourself, what caused his word or act, his egotism or the spirit of truth? It must be one or the other. Your persistent question will create revelation. For example, 
you know that truth cannot deceive or threaten, so you realize that he acted from a conceited mind. He is exposed, and exposed cruelty is helpless. 33. Ignore Screamers Imagine yourself seated before a typewriter. You are writing down several plans for improving your life. Imagine also that a dozen screaming people are standing in front of you. They are rudely demanding that you type out plans that will benefit them. You casually ignore them and continue to plan your own richer life in which they have no place. Just as you are in complete charge of the typewriter, you are also in total charge of your life. So take charge. 34. Your new mind. Think of a few things that are unnecessary to you. Maybe you don't need a piano or a boat or a saddle. Well, another item not necessary to you is emotional strain. From now on, think of strain like this as something completely unnecessary to your life, for it is inessential. When strain insists it has its place, deny it at once. You have now started a powerful idea in your mind that will one day give you a powerfully new mind. 35. The Connection See the connection between your fear of someone and how he behaves toward you. His misconduct is activated by your fear. Realize that your anxiety is a negative magnet that attracts what it fears. The belief that a harsh person can hurt you helps that belief come true. So forget all about trying to change the other person and concentrate on changing the way you think. Review this section several times. That attracts something new. A higher mind. 36. Protective clues. Anger often gives way to a hostile act. You can stay out of the act by being an anger detective. Here are clues to growing anger in someone. Trying to appear casual. A forced smile. Denial of hostility. Sudden silence. Barely concealed sarcasm. Nervous gestures. A blank stare. Defensive replies. Small threats. Fearful submission. Stumbling speech. Coldly polite accusations. Body tension. Absence of humor. 37. Freedom now. Suppose a Krulian hurts you on Monday. On Tuesday, you see him approaching again and react fearfully. Why this reaction? Because your memory of Monday seized and shook your emotions. This is unnecessary. You can remember an unpleasant past event and not be hurt by it today. Memory can be as separate from stormy emotions as land is separate from sea. Freedom from emotionalized memory lifts you to a sky-high position inwardly where hurts cannot reach. 38. Your Great Escape You can be absolutely sure of one thing about an angry prosecutor. He sees himself in the role of a conquering and virtuous hero. He even takes the tearful collapse of his unwary victims as evidence of his majestic mightiness. But he is only playing a self-glorifying role, just like a movie actor. Don't be part of his admiring audience. Without startled spectators, he is nothing. Refuse to see him as he sees himself. What an escape. 39. Change of Nature A man took a walk every day through the streets of his city, and every day he was attacked and injured by thugs. He complained bitterly, but he continued to take the very same walk and continued to suffer the same injuries. Let this story remind you that your usual thoughts and acts will cause the usual attacks and injuries. You must therefore find what is new and unusual within yourself. It changes your nature, which changes what happens to you. 40. Important Fact Deceivers have a special trick which you should now try to catch. They insist that they know what is important for you. Charlatans work hard to prove how vital it is for you to join their cause, or vote their way, or think as they think. You can permanently stop all such propaganda 
by remembering a supreme fact. Here it is. The only important thing in your life is your life itself. Its development into spiritual success. 41. Solve problems. You need to never think about answers to problems in human relations. It is useless to seek solutions among your present thoughts because those thoughts caused the problem in the first place. The solution arrives by studying the problem itself, just as you observe a faulty tree to see why it does not produce fruit. Did the romance get rough because two insecure people made demands on each other? Each can find security in reality. Solve yourself, and you solve every problem. 42. High Notes Imagine two pianos side by side. Someone plays a low note on one piano, then demands that you repeat the same low note on the other piano. This explains how a Krulian demands that you vibrate on his own low scale of life. He plays a cruel note, hoping you will respond with tension or anger. He wants your response to make him feel more of his lowness, which he thinks is power. Don't obey him. Play your own high notes. 43. Release peace. Look what happens when you react angrily toward a scoundrel. A. You wrongly attribute power to him to control you. B. Sensing your anger is weakness, his villainy is encouraged. C. You consent to a reaction on his own harmful level. D. Anger contributes to your sense of defeat. E. You neglect to use the secret passage that leads away from your own self-punishing nature. Instead, let your true nature handle everything, which will release peace. 44. See and learn. Use this valuable exercise in inner development. Wherever you go, observe the many varieties of human cruelty. Hear that sneering remark. Notice how one group hates another group. Be aware of how that public leader tells clumsy lies on television. All of them are merchants of misery. Think of every Krulian you meet as a school in which you can learn how not to live. Care to be free of these yourself? Remember these facts. 45. Be fearless. Imagine a horror movie which scares the audience into near panic. The evil spirits, ghostly shadows, and eerie music all add up to a dreadful drama. But to the producer of the movie, the whole show is about as scary as a bowl of celery soup. Why? Because from his position behind the camera, he sees too much to be scared. So take your stand behind reality, where people and events will be perfectly clear to your mind. Then you will see too much to shake. 46. Spiritual Suspicion A Krulian always lies. He is like a weasel who can do nothing but slink like a weasel. He is especially skilled at lying to you while smiling pleasantly. If you accuse him of lying, he will lyingly deny his lies. So pay no attention to what a Krulian tells you. Instead, let loose that small bit of spiritual suspicion you have that sounds a warning bell. That suspicion is right. There is something dangerously wrong with him. Stay away. 47. Deep Yearnings How strange that people believe that external supplies can satisfy inner yearnings. No spouse or sweetheart or property can drive away the strange loneliness. People agree with this with their words, but secretly cling to a false belief in external rescue. These facts aid your escape from cruelty. Don't believe anyone who promises to deliver happiness and purpose to you. When you see the differences between his promise and his emptiness, he can't deceive and hurt you. 48. End Intimidation Start today to build this wise attitude in your mind and spirit. When someone acts like an idiot in an attempt to intimidate you, silently ask him, who are you trying to kid? In this way, you first inform yourself that you will no longer submit to anyone's tyranny. 
and it will express itself outwardly in your speech and manner, sending a warning message to the offender. He will get the message, and you will end intimidation. 49. The Visitors A story was written about a woman who had a stream of unexpected and unwanted visitors to her home. She was puzzled and annoyed until she saw the shocking cause. Instead of walking in her sleep, she wrote invitations in her sleep. She herself had asked for the unpleasant company. Apply this lesson. How are you unknowingly asking for human contacts that result in grief? Search your mind for unseen invitations. Stop sending them out. 50. All can change. You don't have to be afraid of anything in life. This includes cruel men and women. When fearful of anyone, say to yourself, I presently assume he has power to hurt me. The key words are presently assume. What you presently are can be changed. And you merely assume he can hurt you. When you are new, your world is new and contains no fear. Remind yourself, I am here to grow. Nothing will block my aim. This concludes 50 Ways to Escape Cruel People Written by Vernon Howard and narrated by Alio Voices Listen to this book every so often, as many times as you like, as many times as you feel you might need, until the day you find your mind refreshed, renewed, and fully released from the burdens brought upon by giving in to the demands of cruelty, including the greatest critic of all that lives inside our own mind. Relax, you've got this.